Hello, and welcome to an update video regarding my fan series, Doctor Who Remnants. So, today I'm going to be talking about the direction of the series that's currently going in, and why they've been taken offline, as you may have noticed, or not noticed, I don't know who looks. Uh, but yeah, I just want to get everything clear ahead of the release, which will be coming hopefully early next year. So I basically want to talk about a few things that are going to be different to the series um, because I've decided to do a production reboot. So essentially it's going to be completely different. The same three episodes will remain the same, but there's much more to it than that. But firstly, what is Doctor Who Remnants, I hear you ask? Well, Doctor Who Remnants is, as I said, my fan audio series and it's going to be an anthology series basically chronicling things that happen around a particular version of the Doctor Who universe. So this is going to be like various stories from other characters' perspectives in the same vein as the Twilight Zone and Inside Number 9, that sort of vibe, these sort of random events that occur but we're going to be following them. Each episode will have uh, either the Doctor minimally involved or not involved or maybe majorly involved. It simply entirely depends on the story that is going to be at hand. So it's going to be interesting to say the least. I hope I execute it well. One of the things that I found wrong with my original way of going about it, just going pure anthology, release whenever, is that it was difficult to keep motivated with it because you keep getting distracted with everything else going on. And because I wanted to do the How to Cosplay series again, uh, currently focusing as well on uh, DW2012 as the Purple Doctor, various other bits and pieces going on in my personal life, it was just like, there's no time for this. But, you know what, if you're going to do it, then you might as well just do it properly and focus on it. So I decided to reboot the whole uh, whole series, which I believe is going to be for the best because it's going to give it a much more cohesive narrative. It's going to give it a stronger thoroughline storyline and hopefully you guys will enjoy it and it'll have a lot more um, a lot more drive to it than the previous format did. And my phone is really screwing with the lighting. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so uh, I've even got notes. That's how prepared I am, he says, never writing notes. Yeah. Total series overhaul, so instead of the uh, initial target of six episodes I was going to do, there is a grand total of nine. So this will be a mixture of shorter stories and longer forecast audios. Uh, the forecast audios will make up the majority, but the short stories there are the, the smaller pieces that will complement the others. So we have uh, basically like Victim of the Cybermen, if you guys listened to that, that was a uh, story read by myself. Uh, vocal effects. It'll be somewhat like that, told from a perspective of a character. Um, it won't just be me, don't worry. I've got a whole plethora of people uh, working on this. But that is going to be one of the... It's going to be a big factor of the series. The fact that it's going to be a long form um, series with just interspersed between those two types of storytelling. So kind of mixture of short trips and full cast audio dramas if you're a big Finnish fan. I'm also changing up the central narrator character. Now, originally, will this lighting actually fix itself? Um, originally, it was going to be a different version of the Doctor um, that was played by me as well, wasn't purple, um, but it was literally just a narration figure. So it was that sort of like, he is an ethereal being, he just serves to give a purpose. But I decided, no. There can only be one Doctor, and that's the Purple Doctor when it comes to me. And I'm not involving the Purple Doctor in this series, so therefore, I'm creating a new character. An original character, but one who has had his life tampered with by the Doctor. Not my Doctor, obviously, but uh, one of the main TV series Doctors. And you'll find out in due time who that one will be and who I shall be getting to play them. Uh, so. That new character will be called the Architect, but he also has a real human name because he is actually human. He's not a pro Time Lord or anything like that. He is, well, I don't want to give too much away, but he's had a very strange past few years and, um, well, half a century or more than that. And he is going to tell you the tales of what he has witnessed in his time. Why he's witnessed them, you'll all find out, and that'll be explained within the new first episode called The Architect. It also means I'll be able to bring a character who can be a little bit more hands-on into the story as well, without worrying about continuity, and I can just 
literally do more with him than having to stick within the strict guidelines of the Doctor's character. Uh, so therefore, I just thought this was a no-brainer. Might as well just go fully original with it. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will like the character because he is definitely a bit more reckless and a bit more uh, than the Doctor. So I uh, ho hope you guys will uh, find something to like about him. I will be involving the Doctor, of course, multiple TV series Doctors. I've been uh, put out a casting call, as you may have seen, um, for the 9th, 12th and 13th Doctors, but I will also be featuring the 10th and 11th Doctors from a certain point of view. I haven't really thought about classic Doctors yet because I want to leave them to a second series if I do one, and that is an if. It depends on how this first series is received and uh, if I feel like I want to continue working on it, but I'm determined to get this one series done and out of the way. I just want to put something out there which will hopefully you guys will enjoy. And again, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been submitting auditions. You have all honestly been fantastic in sending me all the various uh, interpretations of the characters. And unfortunately, I know I can't cast everyone, especially for the singular roles, but I just want to say massive thank you. You've all been superb, and it, I can't just thank you enough for taking the time out to submit something for my little passion project. So, honestly, it means a hell of a lot to me. And, and if I have to uh, say that you didn't get the role, please don't be disheartened. Please don't take that to heart. Because just know that there is a lot of quality to choose from. And um, someone's got to get the role. And um, don't be disheartened because I might find a future avenue to be able to include you if you would like to. So thank you so much. And please don't take it to heart. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be going through them probably over the course of uh, tomorrow and on deadline day. So hopefully I'll get back to everyone by Friday, maybe, hopefully. There is a lot, trust me. But again, means a lot to me. Spectacular work. Next up, of course, when is it gonna be out? Well, it's gonna take me some time to work on it. Uh, I'll be posing a second deadline for those who are cast to get their lines into me by. Um, of course, if you fail to do that, I'll have to recast you instantly, so please don't be late. Just saying. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so, like, it's, when it's done, it's done, but they will be coming out with a regular release schedule. I will not be doing it like last time, in which the days are random with just a bit of week of hype in between. That's not going to work, because it needs to be rigid. It needs to have a solid expectation. People need to know when it's coming out. So I'm going to get all nine episodes produced, ready to go, have all the trailers done, all publicity ready and sorted. Once I can say the project is done, then I can say it can be released, which is the way it should be done, really. It's gonna be it's gonna be a journey, and I'm hoping that I can start it early next year. Hopefully, that is the current aim for it all. But yeah, it might go into the middle of next year, maybe near the end. But hopefully, the earlier the better, because I really want to produce something that you guys can listen to and enjoy. Each episode will also have subtitles or closed captions as well, so I just want to make it as accessible as I can to everybody. And as well as that, the script will be available via Google Drive in the description of every episode. I also want to thank the legend that is Antonio Rastelli for doing such amazing artwork for the episode so far. And it's just, oh, I love them and they are to die for and it's just giving the series a whole new visage that... I just didn't think it was even possible, but I love it. Originally, I was doing all the thumbnails myself, but these are so much cooler, man. And also John Foreman for putting together the series poster, which I'll be on screen now. Thank you so much. And honestly, thank you to everyone who's volunteered to do graphics for the series, and thank you to everyone who's volunteered to do the music. Um, it has been honestly astonishing, and just thank you so much for everybody who just wanted to get involved in casting, it just means a lot that everybody's just come together for this and I am so appreciative of everyone involved. And also thank you to Gabriel Brown and Will Grantham for being my co-writers for this project. I am just, nah. it's coming together so much better than I ever would have um, imagined and I'm so ecstatic. So yeah, I believe that is everything. Again, thank you so much for auditioning. And I shall be with you all shortly. And you'll have more about Revenants soon. So thank you for watching. And until next time, see ya!